Herkese merhaba. İkinci derse hoş geldiniz. Hello everyone and welcome to the second session of uh, Istanbul A1. Okay, if you remember last the last video, uh, we talked about the alphabets and today we are going to start uh, with part A. Unite bir. Merhaba or merhaba. Hello. Okay, let's start with page eight. Unite bir. Merhaba. In this unit, we are going to talk about uh, three topics. A, A, M, A, tanışma, selamlaşma, dilekler. Tanışma, acquaintance, meeting new people. Uh, selamlaşma, saying hello. And dilekler, uh, wishes. Like you make wishes on people's birthday. Okay, then tanışma, selamlaşma, dilekler. Tanışma, acquaintances or acquaintance, selamlaşma, saying hello, dilekler, making wishes. And in this box, these are the things we are going to learn about. I'll read them for you. Merhaba, hello. Günaydın, good morning. Nasılsın, how are you? For singular, for, uh, uh, you singular. İyiyim, I'm good. Nerelisin, where are you from? Hoşçakal, goodbye. Güle güle, goodbye. We'll be talking about them, the differences. Memnun oldum, nice to meet you. Teşekkür ederim. Thank you. Senin adın ne? What is your name? Nasılsın? How are you? Nerelisin? Where are you from? Memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. Hoşça kal. Goodbye. And these are the answers. Senin adın ne? Benim adım Ali. What is your name? My name is Ali. Nasılsın? How are you? Teşekkür ederim. İyiyim. Thank you. I'm good. Nerelisin? Where are you from? Japonyalıyım. I'm from Japan. Uh, uh, or I'm Japanese. Memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. Ben de memnun oldum. Nice to meet you too. Bende means me too. Nice to meet you too. Hoşçakal. Güle güle. Right? There is a picture in here. Let's look at it. Well, in here, I want to tell you the difference between hoşçakal and güle güle. As you can see, the man in the bus is leaving, is going. So when you leave a place, you say, hoş çakal, hoş çakal, hoş çakal. When you leave a place, the person who stays says, güle güle. Okay, then when you leave the place, you say, hoş çakal. The place can be the city, the house. Uh, you leave your work, you are off home, and you say, hoş çakal. But the ones who stay, your mom stays at home uh, when you are leaving. Your mom is at home when you are leaving. Other colleagues are at work when you are leaving. You say hoşçakal. The ones who are in that place say güle güle. Right? So that is the difference between these two. The one who is leaving says hoşçakal. The one who is staying in the place says güle güle. Please write them down. And let's take a look at some notes. We have a uh, conversation between Ali and Nazlı. Ali says, memnun oldum, nice to meet you. Nazlı can say, ben de, means me too. 
or uh, yeah, um, actually the literal meaning is me too, but in English we say you too actually. Nazlı can say um, bende or bende memnun oldum. So as you can see, there are two uh, answers. Bende or bende memnun oldum. Again, another conversation. Ali says, teşekkür ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Thank you. Nazlı says, rica ederim. You're welcome. So the answer to teşekkür ederim is rica ederim. Teşekkür ederim. Thank you. Rica ederim. You're welcome. Okay. Well, we have some pictures in here. Hazırlık çalışması. Preparatory work. Merhaba or merhaba. Günaydın. Günaydın. Be careful. It is a günaydın. Good morning. İyi günler. İyi günler. İyi günler. Have a nice day. Hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. Welcome. İyi akşamlar. Good evening. İyi akşamlar. Good evening. Hoşça kal. Goodbye. Okay. Well, let's look at um, these notes. In Turkish, we can uh, use um, some other words to say hello, to mean hello. The first one is merhaba, hello. Then we can also say selam. Selam means hi and it is kind of informal right so selam is informal merhaba is more formal and you can also hear these words salam aleikum salam aleikum when you say salam aleikum that person answers aleikum salam salam aleikum aleikum salam Okay, there is another um, phrase in here. Kolay gelsin, kolay gelsin. The literal meaning is, may easiness comes to you, or may easiness come to you. Actually, it, this phrase is something cultural, and uh, you say it when you go to a, a, a shop, uh, you say it to your colleague, to your boss, to um, whoever you see. Like, nice job, good job, uh, or may, may easiness come to you. It's something cultural. And you can hear it a lot here in Turkey. And when you enter a place, they always uh, say, Hoş geldin, hoş geldin, welcome. And you answer, hoş buldum. This answer is uh, actually for hoş geldin. When somebody says hoş geldin, you say hoş buldum. Thank you. Hoş geldiniz, hoş bulduk. Hoş geldin, hoş geldiniz. Hoş buldum, hoş bulduk. Hoş geldin and hoş buldum are for uh, you. Singular. You say hoş geldin to your friend. And your friend answers with hoş buldum. But hoş geldiniz is you plural. You go to a shop and they want to be formal. They say hoş geldiniz. You say hoş bulduk. Right? You go to your boss's office and um, your boss says, Hoş geldiniz. You say, Hoş bulduk. But you go to your friend's place and your friend says, Hoş geldin. You say, Hoş buldum. Be careful about the differences. Hoş çakal. 
when you are leaving a place, you say, Hoshakal. And the ones who are saying, say, Gile Gile, Hoshakal, Hoshakal, Hoshakal, Hoshakal, Gile Gile, Gile Gile. Right? And let's take a look at some other phrases. Günaydın. Good morning. Günaydın. Good morning. Tünaydın. You may hear it. I just wrote it here for you to be familiar with it. When If you hear it, then you know what it means. Tünaydın means uh, kind of good afternoon. You say to somebody in the afternoon, like at 12. At 1 p.m. Tunaiden. Gunaiden. Good morning. Tunaiden. Good afternoon. Igunlar. Igunlar. Have a nice day. Iyakshamlar. Good evening. Have a nice evening. Igejela. Good night when you go to sleep. Igejela. Good night. I'll read them one more time. Merhaba. Selam. Selam aleyküm. Aleyküm selam. Kolay gelsin. Hoş geldin. Hoş buldum. Hoş geldiniz. Hoş bulduk. Hoş şakal. Güle güle. Günaydın. Tünaydın. İyi günler. İyi akşamlar. So try to take notes, please. Well, I hope you don't have any questions in here. Well, let's move on. The next part. Okuma, okuma, reading. Let's read some dialects. Okuma, reading. Tanishma, tanishma. Getting to know new people. Tanishma, getting to know new people. As you can see, there is uh, um, the first one, there is a conversation between Ali and Murat. I'll read it first, then I'll tell you the uh, translation. Ali, merhaba, benim adım Ali. Senin adın ne? Murat, benim adım Murat. Ali, memnun oldum, Murat, ben de memnun oldum. Ali says, merhaba, benim adım Ali, senin adın ne? Hello, my name is Ali. What is your name? Ne, what? What is your name? Murat, benim adım Murat. My name's Murat. Benim, my. Adım, name's Murat. Ali, memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. Murat, ben de memnun oldum. Nice to meet you too. Next one, there is a conversation between Hana and Austin. I'll read it first. Hana, nerelisin? Austin, Nijeryalıyım. Nijeryalıyım. Sen nerelisin? Hana, ben Almanyalıyım. Almanyalıyım. Hana says, Nerelisin? Where are you from? Austin, Nigerialim. Sen nerelisin? I'm from Nigeria. Where are you from? Hana, ben Almanyalim. I'm from um, Germany. I'm German. And in here, there is a conversation between Dilek and Zeynep. Dilek, Zeynep. I'll read it first. Dilek. Selam Zeynep. Nasılsın? Zeynep. İyiyim. Teşekkür ederim. Sen nasılsın? Dilek. Teşekkürler. Ben de iyiyim. Dilek says, Selam Zeynep. Nasılsın? Hi Zeynep. How are you? Zeynep. İyiyim. Teşekkür ederim. Sen nasılsın? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Dilek. Teşekkürler. Ben de iyiyim. Thank you. I'm good. Well, 
in here, if you have noticed, there is another word uh, for saying teşekkür ederim, which is teşekkürler. Okay, let's take notes in here then. And you write them, please. Teşekkür ederim is a synonym for teşekkürler. Teşekkürler. Teşekkür ederim. Teşekkürler. They are both the same. The next conversation is, is between John and Öğretmen, John and his teacher. I'll read it first. John, günaydın öğretmenim, nasılsınız? Öğretmen, günaydın John, iyiyim, sen nasılsın? John, teşekkür ederim, ben de iyiyim. John says, günaydın öğretmenim, nasılsınız? Good morning, my teacher. Okay. How are you? Nasılsınız? How are you? Öğretmen, the teacher says. Günaydın Can. İyiyim. Sen nasılsın? Good morning Can. I'm good. How are you? Can says, teşekkür ederim. Ben de iyiyim. Right? There is another point in here. What is the difference between nasılsınız and nasılsın? Nasılsın is a question. It means, how are you? And this is for you singular. It's kind of informal. But nasılsınız? Nasıl? Nasılsınız is, I mean, the same meaning. How are you? But you plural, right? So be careful. Nasılsın, singular, informal. Nasılsınız, you plural, formal. As you can see, when you see your boss, you don't say nasılsın. You want to be more formal. So you say nasılsınız. When you see your professor, your teacher, you say nasılsınız, as you can see here, John says nasılsınız to his teacher. But the teacher wants to be kind of informal and says, sen nasılsın, how are you? Sen means you. Sen nasılsın, how are you? If you remember, it's like, hoş, uh, hoş geldin, hoş geldiniz, hoş geldin, you singular, welcome. Hoş geldiniz, you plural, formal, is, is, is for you plural, but the same meaning. Yeah, Turkish people uh, pay attention to these formality and informality. So you must get used to it. Well, I'm removing them. Uh, let's move on and read other conversations. There is another conversation between Pinar Hanum, Levant Bey. Pinar Hanum, Hanum is a title for women. Uh, means um, Mrs. We can say kind of yeah, Mrs. Mm -hmm. And Bey is a title for men, Sir. Right. Let me read the conversation first. Pinar Hanum, nasılsınız Levant Bey? Nasılsınız? You remember. Formal. Nasılsınız Levent Bey? Levent Bey. Teşekkür ederim. İyiyim. Siz nasılsınız? Again, formal. Pınar Hanım. Teşekkürler. Ben de iyiyim. Pınar Hanım says, Nasılsınız Levent Bey? How are you, sir? Or Mr. Levent. Levent is a name. Levent Bey. Teşekkür ederim. İyiyim. Siz nasılsınız? Thank you. I'm good. How about you? How are you? Pınar Hanım. Uh, Mrs. Pinar says, Teşekkürler, ben de iyiyim. Thank you. I am good too. Ben de, me too. I'm good too. Next conversation is between Nihan and Mete. 
Nihan is the girl's name. Mete is the boy's name. I'll read it first. Nihan. Never ne yok Mete. Mete e işte. Fena değil. Sen de ne var ne yok. Nihan. İyilik. Sağlık. Well, this is a, a, an informal conversation between two friends. Nihan says, ne var ne yok Mete? What's up Mete? How is it going Mete? Ne var ne yok? What's up? Mete, e işte. Fena değil. E işte doesn't have a special meaning in Turkish. It's kind of like a gap filler, uh, we can say. Well, Mete, when Mete here says, e işte, fena değil. It's like, so-so, not bad. Fena değil, not bad. Sende ne var ne yok? What's up? Do you have any news? I mean, how is it going with you? Nihan, iyilik, sağlık. İyilik, sağlık. İyilik, goodness, sağlık, health. You hear this a lot to, uh, I mean, as an answer, when you ask somebody how they are. İyilik, sağlık. İyilik, everything is good, sağlık. Everybody is healthy. Everything is good. Right? Well, the next conversation is between Oznur and Sina. Oznur, Sina. Oznur says, Ne habar, Sina? Ne habar? Ne habar? In speaking, in everyday speaking, when you want to say it fast, you say, Ne habar? Ne habar? Imagine there is no H. Sinem, iyilik, senden ne haber? Oznur, sağ ol, ben de iyilik. Oznur says, ne haber Sinem? What's the news Sinem? What's up Sinem? Sinem, iyilik, everything's good. Senden ne haber? Uh, what about you? Is there any news? Do you have any news? Haber means news. Oznur says, sağ ol. Saul is another meaning for teşekkür ederim teşekkürler. But Saul is kind of informal. Saul, Saul, Saul, thank you. Benden de iyilik. Everything's good with me too. Benden de iyilik. Everything is good with me too. The next conversation is between Aysel and Leyla. Aysel. Hoşça kal Leyla. Leyla. Güle güle. Sonra görüşürüz. Görüşürüz. Aysel. Görüşürüz. Aysel says. Hoşça kal Leyla. Goodbye Leyla. Leyla says. Güle güle. Goodbye. It means Aysel is leaving. Is leaving the, the campus. I guess they're in the campus. Um, but Leyla is staying. That's why Aysel says. Hoşça kal. Because she's leaving. But Leyla stays and says. Güle güle. Sonra görüşürüz. Sonra later görüşürüz. See you. See you later. Sonra görüşürüz. Aysel says görüşürüz. See you. Görüşürüz. Görüşürüz. Görüşürüz. Well, before going to the last conversation, there is a tip in here about um, these two conversations about these two. Let's check them. Okay. Well, in informal contexts, when you are with your friends, you can use uh, some phrases to ask you what's up. Is there any news? How is it going? For example, Ali says, Ne haber Nazli? Ne haber? What's up? Is there any news? Nazli says, İyilik, everything's good. Senden ne haber? Be careful. When somebody asks you ne haber, you must ask senden ne haber. Ali, ne haber Nazli? Nazli, İyilik, senden ne haber? What's up with you? Do you have any news? And Ali can says, Sağol. İyilik. Sağlık. Whatsoever. 
So one more time. When somebody asks you with nabar, you answer with like ilik, and then you want to answer, uh, you want to ask that person again. You say sandan, sandan nabar. And if somebody asks you like this, Ali says, never ne yok nazlı. How is it going? Never ne yok nazlı. Fena değil, not bad. Sende ne var ne yok. How is it going with you? Well, ne haber? Senden ne haber? Ne var ne yok? Sende ne var ne yok? Senden, sende. That's the difference. Please write them down. Right? Okay, well, uh, let me tell you something else. For these notes, when I open them, uh, please pause the video and write them down. Take notes. We can reach them later. And the last conversation there in, in a classroom, uh, the conversation is between Oretman, the teacher, professor, lecturer, and Martin. Right? I'll read it first. Oretman. Merhaba. Senin adın ne? Martin. Merhaba, benim adım Martin. Sizin adınız ne? Öğretmen. Benim adım Filiz. Memnun oldum. Martin. Ben de memnun oldum. Öğretmen. Nasılsın? Martin. Teşekkür ederim. İyiyim. Siz nasılsınız? Öğretmen. Teşekkürler. Ben de iyiyim. Neredesin Martin? Martin. İspanyalıyım. I'm Spanish. I'm from Spain. I'm Spanish. Öğretmen, hoş geldin. Martin, hoş bulduk. If you have noticed, the teacher's um, sentences and questions are informal, but Martin's questions and sentences are formal because she's, he's talking to his uh, professor. Öğretmen, the teacher, the professor, merhaba, senin adın ne? Hello, what's your name? Martin, merhaba, benim adım Martin. Sizin adınız ne? Hello, my name is Martin. What is your name? Öğretmen, benim adım Filiz. Memnun oldum. My name is Filiz. Nice to meet you, Martin. Ben de memnun oldum. Nice to meet you too. Öğretmen, nasılsın? How are you? Martin, teşekkür ederim. İyiyim. Siz nasılsınız? How are you? Öğretmen, teşekkürler, ben de iyiyim. Neredesin Martin? Thank you, I am good too. Where are you from Martin? Martin, İspanyalıyım. I'm from Spain, I'm Spanish. Öğretmen, hoş geldin, welcome. Martin, hoş bulduk. But let's check uh, some points in here. Well, the teacher asks informal, senin adın ne? What is your name? But Martin asks, sizin adınız ne? Informal, formal. Right? Öğretmen, the teacher, the professor asks, nasılsın? How are you? Informal. But Martin asks, siz nasılsınız? Formal, how are you? Formal, right? And yeah, nere listen, informal. Nere listen is formal, I'll write it for you. And the teacher, the professor says, hoş geldin, informal, but Martin answers with a formal phrase, hoş bulduk. It doesn't matter that uh, how that person um, says these phrases to you. If you are in a formal context, try to answer uh, formally. Well, you singular, or let me write informal, right? You can ask senin 
adını what is your name right the next question is nasılsın how are you nere listen nere listen where are you from you singular then for you plural or let's say formal what you say senin adına the formal uh, version actually is sizin adınız ne same meaning but just different contexts the matter of formality senin adın ne sizin adınız ne nasılsın formal nasılsınız nasılsınız when you see your boss you don't say nasılsın you say nasılsınız Nerelisin? Where are you from? Nerelisiniz? Nerelisiniz? Formal. Let me write these two here. Uh, hoş geldin. Hoş geldin. The answer is hoş bulduk. Okay. But in formal context, what we say? Right. Hoş geldiniz. Hoş geldiniz. Informal answer. Hoş bulduk. Hoş bulduk. You hear this hoş geldiniz a lot. Wherever you go. You enter a shop. You enter a house. You enter a place. Doesn't matter. They always say hoş geldiniz. And you say hoş bulduk. Because you know what to say. Okay, I'm removing them. Let's move on. Let's do some exercises. Exercise one. Aşağıdaki diyalo sıralayalım. Sıralayalım. Let's put in order the following conversation. There is a conversation between Ümit and Aslı. Pause the video and try to do it on your own. And be careful. Number one is done. One, Umit. Merhaba, benim adım Umit. Senin adın ne? Now it's Aslı's turn to answer. Aslı says, Merhaba, benim adım Aslı. Then Umit says, What Umit says? Let's see. In here. And read it from the beginning. Ümit. Merhaba, benim adım Ümit. Senin adın ne? Aslı. Merhaba, benim adım Aslı. Ümit. Nasılsın Aslı? Aslı. Teşekkürler, iyiyim. Sen nasılsın? Ümit. Sağ ol, ben de iyiyim. Ümit says, memnun oldum. Memnun oldum. Aslı says, ben de memnun oldum. Hmm. Ben de memnun oldum. Ee, Aslı says, again Aslı says, görüşmek üzere, hoşça kal. Ümit says, görüşürüz, güle güle. I don't translate it, because you know it. But there is something new in here. Görüşmek üzere, görüşürüz. You might guess the difference between them. Right? Let's see. Both, they both mean uh, see you. Well, 
they both mean uh, see you. But görüşmek üzere is formal. Görüşürüz is informal. Görüşmek üzere formal. Görüşürüz informal. They both have the same meaning. Means see you. Exercise 2. 2. Aşağıdaki ifadeleri eşleştirelim. Let's match the expressions below. Aşağıdaki ifadeleri eşleştirelim. Let's match them. Görüşmek üzere. Görüşürüz. Number 1 is done for you. Please pause the video and do the rest on your own. Merhaba. Merhaba. Teşekkür ederim. Thank you. Rica ederim. You're welcome. Hoşça kal. Goodbye. Güle güle. Goodbye. Memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. What we say? Ben de. You too. Or me too, actually. Nice to meet you too. Nasılsın? How are you? What we say? İyiyim. I'm good. Nerelisin? Where are you from? Çinliyim. I'm from China. I'm Chinese. Ne haber? What's up? İyilik. Everything's good. Hoş geldin. Welcome. Hoş bulduk. Thank you. Senin adın ne? Ahmet. You can say benim adım Ahmet or just Ahmet. Uç. Exercise 3. As you can see, there is a conversation between two friends. Ayşe, Timo. Aşağıdaki diyaloğu tamamlayalım. Let's complete this um, conversation below. Pause the video and try to do it on your own. Then I'll show you the answers. As you can see, some sentences are written and you must complete the rest. Ayşe says, iyi akşamlar, Timo, iyi akşamlar, Ayşe. Senin adın ne, Timo? Benim adım Timo. Senin adın ne? Ayşe, Ayşe, nasılsın? Timo, iyiyim, sen nasılsın? Ayşe, ben de iyiyim. Memnun oldum, Timo, ben de memnun oldum. Ayşe, nerelisin, Timo? İspanyalıyım. İspanyalıyım. Sen neredesin? Ayşe, Türk'üm. Türkiye'liyim. Türk'üm. Türkiye'liyim. Timo, hoşça kal. Ayşe, güle güle. Let me translate it. Ayşe, iyi akşamlar. Good evening. Timo, iyi akşamlar. Good evening. Ayşe, sen adın ne? What's your name? Timo, benim adım Timo. Senin adın ne? My name is Timo. What is your name? Ayşe says, Ayşe. Ayşe, nasılsın? How are you? Timo, iyiyim. Sen nasılsın? I'm good. How about you? How are you? Ayşe, ben de iyiyim. Memnun oldum. I'm good too. Nice to meet you. Timo, ben de memnun oldum. Nice to meet you too. Ayşe, neredesin? Where are you from? Timo, İspanyalıyım. Sen neredesin? I'm from Spain. I'm Spanish. Um, where are you from? Türk'üm, Türkiye'liyim. I'm Turkish. I'm from Turkey. Um, Ayşe, hoşça kal. Um, yeah, Timo, hoşça kal. Ayşe, güle güle. Goodbye. Timo says goodbye. And Ayşe, how is staying, says güle güle. Goodbye. Well, that's all for this page. Let's move on. Well, in this page, we are going to learn very important uh, phrases. They are very important. Dört. Yandaki ifadeleri resimlerle eşleştirelim. Let's match the expressions on this side um, to these pictures. 
Well, we'll be talking about the expressions in here first, then you can match them because I'm going to tell you the mix. The first expression is afiyet olsun. Afiyet olsun. You hear it a lot in restaurants. Turkish people have, uh, like, it's, it's kind of their culture and I love it. Uh, when the, you when they see you at a table um, having something, having breakfast, lunch, dinner, they always say, Afiyet olsun, bon appetit. Bon appetit. We say, sizde. Afiyet olsun, bon appetit. İyi dersler. When you are going to your classroom. In the morning when children go to school, the parents say, İyi dersler, have, an, have nice lessons. Or have a nice lesson. The meanings are here actually. Bol şanslar, bol şanslar. Good luck. Bol şanslar, good luck. Okay, bol şanslar, good luck. Tebrikler, congrats, congratulations. Tebrikler. Çok yaşa, when somebody sneezes. Ç. I sneeze, you say çok yaşa, bless you. Çok yaşa, or you can say iyi yaşa. Lütfen, lütfen, please. Lütfen. Please. Özür dilerim. Özür dilerim. I'm sorry. Özür dilerim. I'm sorry. There's a point here. Well, when you haven't done something wrong, you say pardon, pardon, affedersin, affedersiniz. Excuse me. They mean excuse me. Pardon, you want to pass and somebody is on your way. You say pardon and they let you pass. You want to ask somebody something, you say affedersin, informal, affedersin is formal. Excuse me. But when you have something wrong, you have done something wrong, you say özür dilerim, I'm sorry. Or kusura bakma, kusura bakmayın, I'm sorry. Kusura kalma, kusura kalmayın. You can use them all. But, kusura bakma and kusura kalma are informal. Kusura bakmayın, kusura kalmayın are formal. You are in a supermarket and um, you bang somebody's trolley. You say kusura bakmayın. Kusura bakmayın. Right? But there is a context, um, a mistake um, happens, and um, you want to say, I'm sorry to your friend. You say, kusura bakma, or özür dilerim. Right? Write them down, please. İyi geceler, good night. Geçmiş olsun. Geçmiş olsun. They use geçmiş olsun. Uh, me and it means uh, like get better soon. When somebody is in a in a hospital, you go to visit that person. You say get results. They use this a lot in different contexts with different meanings. But the the the most common meaning is um, as I told you, uh, get better soon. As you can see, it, it is. Uh, like number 11, geçmiş olsun, get better soon. Mutlu yıllar, mutlu yıllar. Let's see what it means. We use mutlu yıllar uh, in two contexts. For birthdays and uh, for new year. It, ha it has the meaning of happy birthday to you. Uh, have uh, very good um, years ahead, the literal meaning, have good years ahead. But we use it uh, in birthday contexts and in New Year contexts. Look at here. For birthday wishes, we have different um, 
phrases. Düğüm günün kutlu olsun. Happy birthday to you. Düğüm günün kutlu olsun. It is in bold. It means this is the most common phrase you can use uh, to make a wish for somebody's birthday. Nice senelere. İyi seneler. They all mean have nice uh, years ahead. İyi ki doğdun. İyi ki doğdun. How good is it that you were born? İyi ki doğdun. It has a perfect meaning, doesn't it? Mutlu yıllar have um, like happy years ahead. Mutlu happy years ahead. Mutlu seneler. Have happy years ahead. And these three are the most common ones. Düğüm günün kutlu olsun. Happy birthday to you. İyi ki doğdun. Um, that's, that's good. That's perfect that you were born. Mutlu yıllar. Um, happy years ahead. I wish you happy years ahead. Tamam. Tamam. You hear it a lot. It means okay. All right. Tamam. Let's go there. Hadi gidelim. Tamam. Hadi yapalım. Tamam. Okay. İyi yolculuklar. İyi yolculuklar. Have a nice journey. Have a nice trip. Well, yol means path or route. Yol. Yolculuklar comes from the word yol. Yol means path, route. Yolcu means passenger or traveler. Yolcu. Yolculuk, journey. Yolculuk as a noun. Journey. İyi yolculuklar. Have a nice journey. And I think the pictures are just crystal clear. So we can match them. Anyong. Let's move on. Exercise five. Beş. Aşağıdakilere bakalım. Let's look at the, the following here, the, the pictures and uh, these phrases. Ne zaman? Ne söylüyoruz? When? And what to say? Ne zaman? When? Ne söylüyoruz? What to say? Eşleştirelim. Let's match. Eşleştirelim. Let's match. Well, the first phrase is anneler günü. Anneler günü. Anne means mom, mother. You remember in the uh, last video we said uh, baba, father, dad. Here, anne, mother or mom. Anneler günü. What we say when there it is Mother's Day? Let's see what we say. We say anneler günü kutlu olsun. We can use this wish, this expression for other days too. For example, Babalar günün kutlu olsun. Happy Father's Day. Sevgiler günün kutlu olsun. Happy uh, Valentine's Day. This is for Valentine's. Happy Lover's Day actually. Öğretmenler günün kutlu olsun. Happy Teacher's Day. Right? As you can see, we can match this one to number four. Anneler günü, number four. Anneler günün kutlu olsun anneciğim. Happy Mother's Day to you, my lovely mother. Next one, hastalık. Hastalık, disease, illness. Actually, illness. What we say? When we see somebody who is ill, yes, you guess right. Geçmiş olsun, geçmiş olsun. Yeah, geçmiş olsun. So, number two is for this. İki, hastalık, geçmiş olsun. Bayram. Bayram is actually the literal meaning is holiday. In Turkey, we call religious and national holidays bayram, like Eid. We call religious and national holidays bayram. What we say when there is bayram? We say, 
Bayraminiz kutlu olsun. Bayraminiz kutlu olsun. Happy holidays. And there is also another uh, phrase we can use. Which is here. İyi bayramlar. İyi bayramlar. İyi bayramlar. Or bayraminiz kutlu olsun. İyi bayramlar. Happy holidays. Bayraminiz kutlu olsun. Happy holidays. The next um, word is düğün. Düğün means wedding. Marriage. Yeah. It is number six, right? Altı. What we say? Sonsuz mutluluklar. Sonsuz mutluluklar. It means um, stay happy. I mean, have a have a happy marriage forever. Sonsuz forever. I wish you a happy marriage forever. Next one. Doom günü. Doom günü. Be careful. Doom. Doom. Doom günü. Birthday. What we say. You know it. Well, number five. Doom günün kutlu olsun. Nice senelere. Doom günün kutlu olsun. İyi ki, iyi ki um, doğdun. Number five. And yeni yıl, yeni, new. Yıl, year. New year. Which one? Number three. İyi seneler. Mutlu yıllar. Mutlu seneler. İyi seneler. Mutlu yıllar. We've talked about. Yeah. For, um, I, I'm saying it again. For all these notes, please pause the video and try to write them down. Well, let's go to the last page for uh, today's um, video. There are six pictures in here. And the number of the exercise number six. Altı. Six, altı. Yandaki resimlere bakalım. Let's look at the pictures um, in here on the side. Ve and cümlelere numaralandıralım and number the sentences I'll read them A oh, Benim adım Albert Einstein Ben Almanyalıyım ve Almanım My name is Albert Einstein I am from um, Germany and I'm and, and I'm German Number 3 huh B. Benim adım Mozart. Ben Avustra Avusturyalıyım. Ben Avusturyalıyım. My name is Mozart. I'm from Australia. Which one? Two. İki. C. Benim adım İbrahim Kütülay. Ben Türkiyeliyim ve Türküm. My name is İbrahim Kütülay. I am from Turkey and I'm Turkish. Number four, İbrahim. Ç. Benim adım Can Reno. Ben Frans Fransalıyım ve Fransızım. My name is Jean Reno. I'm from France and I'm French. Which one do you think uh, this one is? Number six. Let's see. De. Benim adım Bai. Ben Çinliyim. My name is Bai. I'm from China. Five. E. Benim adım Ömer. Ben Nijeryalıyım. My name is Ömer. I'm from Nigeria. One. Benim adım Muji. Um, ben Türkiye'liyim ve Türk'üm, for example. And let's go to the last part. 
dinleme, dinleme, listening, dinleme, listening. Tanışalım, let's meet new people. Yedi, metni dinleyelim, let's listen to the text. Boşlukları dolduralım and uh, fill in the blanks. There are four pictures, odd, name, uyruk, nationality. Let's see where they come from. Merhaba, benim adım Tom. İngiltereliyim. İyi, hı hı. İyi günler. Benim adım Pınar. Türk'üm. Günaydın. Benim adım Kim. Koreliyim. Merhaba. Benim adım Omo. <gülüyor> Don't worry. I will upload all the... Um, tracks, audio files, and the book on my uh, Telegram channel, and uh, I will leave the um, link with you for you. Uh, you can find them there. What? One. Bir. Merhaba, benim adım Tom. Uyruk, or the country, nationality, İngiltere, England. Tom, İngiltere. Next one, Pınar, Türkiye. Pınar, Turkey. Kim, Kore. Kim, Korea. Olga, Rusya. Olga, Russia. Right? Okay. Well, yazma, writing. Aşağıdaki cümleleri kullan, kullanalım ve sınıftaki arkadaşlarımızla bir diyalog yazalım. It asks you to answer the questions um, about about you yourselves and uh, work with the friends to and write a uh, a a dialogue like the ones we have um, we have just learned about. Sen adın ne? What is your name? Nasılsın? How are you? Neredesin? Where are you from? Memnun oldum. Memnun oldum. Nice to meet you. Konuşma. Speaking, kitabı kapatalım. Let's close the book. Aynı soruları arkadaşlarımıza soralım. Ask the same questions uh, to our friends. Well, that is all for today's uh, video. Um, see you for the next video. Görüşürüz.